Hello guys, it's Will here, and today I'm bringing you a new, it's not really a new series, it's just going to be two parts of one big episode really, it's just going to be how to win Division 1, part 1 is going to be telling you the formation and the kind of team you need to use, and part 2 will be the gameplay showing you how to play, so what gameplay you should use, how you should pass it about, and where's the best place to shoot, I know it's a bit simple, but most people can't play in Division 1, get annoyed with FIFA and stop playing it so if you want to enjoy Ultimate Team and enjoy FIFA um, I would advise you listen to this and get rid of the slow teams you want to play with because it's your favourite players because Ultimate Team this year sadly is not the place where you can play with your favourite players anymore it, I, th I think that stops in FIFA 11 it's just pace and I know people said that FIFA 13 is not going to be pace but sadly this year it is again and it will always be paced because no matter what a fast striker will always better than a, the likes of Rooney and all that anyway but teams like this I would you need to pick out a formation so for example in this team I picked 5 two, two, one. but any formation that has a strong back defensive line like 5 at the back or 3-5-2 as you all know, you come up against it a lot. It helps. It helps a lot. Three, five, two. You got two centre defensive mids and left mids and right mids that can come back. But for this team, I pick five, two, two, one. The formation is important because you need to know if you're confident enough with defending counter attacks. As FIFA's full of this this year, and you need to know. Um, how to defend with your formation and how to attack with your formation otherwise you're going to be stuck and concede a lot of goals anyway as you can see on my team I've got pace in certain areas for example the right the whole defense is very pacey apart from inform Varane but however he's got good defending I would put him in the middle center back but for chemistry reasons he can't go there but if you have a good defender who's tall and good defending and heading it doesn't matter what pace he is as long as he's around 65 to 70 pace the rest of the team has in pace important places for, for example the two center mids Sissoko and Ramirez 88 pace and 86 pace they're really fast centre mids and perfect for the jobs as they run about, get back and get forward. The left forward and right forwards also are perfect as they can get forward and they can cut inside and also they can um, shoot near post as they've got a four star weak foot and that's very important and four star skills to cut in. The striker of course is very fast as we all know doing your OP or you could go for the option with striker as a tall striker and cross in like Triore who I recommend to get right now is 700 coins is a massive bargain and finally you need to if in a five back formation you need to make sure your left wing backs and right wing backs are very fast and very attacking for example Conco a very good attacking right wing back and Fabio another great attacking left wing back anyway guys this is going to be it for part one if you want to see part two make sure you look out for that that will be the gameplay how to win division one basically anyway that's all bye well